is finally here. The longest chapter of the Resident Evil franchise. Played by Jay and Poop here. And the longest series in 2023 by Jay and Poop. It is none other than... That is right, guys. What is up? It is I, Jane Poop here, and we are back with another brand new playthrough. And this time, we're going to do the longest Resident Evil game ever, Resident Evil 6. And, and you, we'll tell you the reasons why this is long later, of course, but... This came out back in 2012 on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And then, and then on PC in 2013, then got a remastered version in 2016 on both PS4 and Xbox One, and then on Nintendo Switch in 2019. So, this had a couple of re-releases, but not too many. So, without further ado, let's start the game, shall we? Apparently the brightness settings is that, but I'm going to lower them a bit. There we go. Let's start this, shall we? So, Resident Evil 6 pretty much goes back to the general survival horror route of the original Resident Evil games with the spookiness and such, and scariness and that. But it still plays exactly like Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 5, sort of only with a couple of tweaks added in and there. So, you'll pretty much see why later. As this is perhaps the longest Resident Evil game to 100% all your achievements and trophies on. Okay, we're in a shooting spray, it seems. There's a woman on the floor. So it seems like we're grabbing her. We can look around. We can mash A. I am playing this on Xbox One, by the way, so I am on the remastered version. It's Leon S. Kennedy. Who's that woman he's holding? So what we gotta do is we just gotta walk along this way. And yeah, we are a bit slow. So this is pretty much the beginning of the game. Apparently her name is Helena. I'll only slow you down. Just go. You're not getting off that easy. Come on. I'm just gonna take Elena along. And so after all we've been through, it'd be a waste to give up now. And then we meet one of the main gimmicks of this game. Well not the main gimmick, but what you'll commonly see. 
So, I'm going to grab this stick here. And then... Get it on that door. Then. Just going to press buttons at the right time. And then... Fuck! Yes! <laughs> and then we're just going to walk along this way. And see some choppers. Some blood on the floor. And dead people. Oh no. Let's try this way. Okay. Almost through this. Sure are. Okay, some dead guard on the floor. We appear to be in some really neonish town or something. Let's take a break. Right here. So we're going to sit Elena down while Leon finds something. With his gun. There's got to be a first aid kit in here somewhere. Yep. But before that, I'm going to go over the controls so you can see this plays differently than Resident Evil 4 and 5. You can see you have free, free movement control and it's not like always moving forward and then turning around and such. You can move freely. Uh, so, and then I'm going to press like the select button. We can change a few options. Change controller settings. Uh, I kind of prefer this. I kind of prefer my own controls, but you can have your own controls if you wish. So, yeah. I'm going to have them like this. Uh, and then, that doesn't need changing. An auto reload, yeah. And then camera settings, I don't think we need to change any of that. No, I'm not going to change any of that. Sound settings, no. Screen settings, no, that's just the brightness. Subtitles, yes. I don't know why subtitles are... Oh, subtitles are on. But they didn't display. Okay. Okay, um, just use red, and then in-game HUD, yes. Okay. And nothing else. We can also end our game. So let's check my number resume. Okay, so, and then press in just the normal start, just pauses the game. It makes me sick seeing good soldiers die like this. So we open the car door to then get this. A herb. Leon, are you there? Hunnigan. Good to hear you're okay. Where's Helena? She's not doing too good. She needs medical attention. Do you have any herbs left? A few, but I'm not sure they'll help. Okay, listen. Just follow my instructions. So we're gonna open the item slot. And you can combine them. Put them in your thing and then... Hold on, Helena. Just press the button, and then boom. Too many good agents have died here today. You're not getting out of that list. What list? Leon. And now, a zombie is gonna chase us. Alright, let's try and get in. Try and use everything else we can. Oh, we can't. So then we gotta wiggle our uh, control stick and then wiggle it again. And then press a button to this. Down for a second. 
Now, let's help Helena again. How do you feel? I think I'm gonna be okay. Thank you. Leon, what are you doing? You need to get out of there, now! We're heading to the quad tower. There are BSA agents there with survivors. I can't abandon them. All right. Then let me help. I'll direct you to the safest route. Thanks, Helen. And then, I've sent control again. field guide to your PDA. You can always refer to that in a pinch. So we're gonna open this door and then, yeah. So then, we can also have the. We can also have this. So it's basically a hint on where. When you can go where where you need to go and such, so it's kind of useful. Oh, what whole thing's hell? whole thing's rumbling. Roger. So yes, you have to wait for your partner to come back to you, and then oh no, zombies ruin up the fucking place. Oh no. Alright, let's just hop down here and then we're gonna meet some zombies! And I'm just gonna get them with a knife. Oh, whoa, uh, okay. There are many different controls you can have. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of cool. Oh, wow, I I'm surprisingly I'm decapitating them. That's so strange, but okay. I'm gonna get you down here. Apparently, we're so powerful with this knife, apparently. Okay. Got him. Oh my god, this game is referencing 9-11, literally. Holy shit. Even though that was years before this. Alright. Anyways, during these moments, we need to run! And unlike previous games where you would mash buttons, this time you hold buttons. In situations like this. So yes, there's a better run feature in this game. Okay, there we go. Ah, zombie. Alright. You automatically climb up very fast, and then... I'm just gonna go this way. And then onto the helicopter! Onto the chopper. And the zombie's on us. I'm gonna wiggle the... Nun uh, not nunchuck, I mean, uh, the control stick. Why well, I'm not thinking I was on the way. <laughs> this was never on the way. Imagine if it was, though. All right. And then... That guy is apparently dead. In front of the chopper, so... Leon has to control it. Oh. All right. Going up. Oh my god, he's a zombie now. Sort of. And then. Fuck you! Get out! I almost missed there, but okay. Oh, we're gonna wiggle it again. And then whee! Oh, there's a train. Oh, that is sick. Jesus, tons of zombies down there. Glad 
they didn't fall through. So yeah, that's pretty much um, that's pretty much uh, the basics of this. Uh, so apparently we've got other guns as well. We've got this Magnum. We've got a shotgun. We got a rifle. We got all these weapons straight away. But also with this gun, we can also have the wing shooter. So we can shoot more than once, like that. <laughs> yes, it's really good. So let's go for here. And then. It kind of looks like the umbrella look. Sure doesn't, but. That kind of looks familiar down there. It kind of looks like the um, umbrella logo, doesn't it? Also, I think you can. But also, you can do melee attacks like this. You can do that, and then. We can even. Sometimes you might be able to hurt your partner, but I don't know if you can in this scenario, but okay. Let's just go this way. Loading. <laughs> the fuck? Back for more. And then... guys and so so yeah and then there's our first achievement there as well the longest night complete the tutorial so that's pretty much the first part of the game which is the tutorial so yes and then we have this menu this is pretty much then you get the main menu after doing all that yes so, yeah. And this is where most people could change their options as well, like their controls and such. Uh, the camera, don't need to change that. Uh, the hood position, oh, I don't need that. The splare, we do, no, that's just the brightness. The audio. You can even change your language. Now, this is actually the first Resident Evil game to have different languages, and even Japanese. Well, but the languages were only DLC though, originally. But in this version, you've got them all. And then, and yes, the remastered version comes with all other DLC as well, so that's good. In records, uh, it's pretty much uh, similar to Resident Evil 5. Just uh, how long you've been playing and such, how many times you've used weapons and such. Uh, and um, all that. We've killed five enemies with a knife. Wow. Um, and then, um, and then the extras. Yeah, all uh, all of these are the DLC. Oh, mercenaries, no mercy. It's in this one as well. I guess, and that means more enemies on screen. Anyways, um, but the interesting thing is medals. These are basically like the conditions of how you beat certain parts of the game. And there is an achievement based on that. So there's one for the campaigns, there's one for the agent hunt, which I think is multiplayer, mercenaries, and there's one for the DLCs as well. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And then the special features is cutscenes, so you get to watch your cutscenes again. Uh, but for some reason, the ones we've already. The ones we've technically watched are not there, unless they appear later, I don't know. And then collections is this. It's basically nothing right now, but but it's basically um where you, you collect something called Serpent Medals, so just like in Resident Evil 5. Uh, 
where you get emblems in this. And, um, and then uh, getting them would unlock these, so, yeah, that's cool. And then, and then we have cycle mode, what's that? I have no clue what this is. Oh, it's like uh, multiplayer, okay, because I've never heard of that mode before. Extra content, I'm guessing that's the DLC. Yes, it is. We've got Agent Hunt, Mercenaries, and then Survivors, Onslaught, Predator, and Siege. Uh, so, yeah, that's what these are. Dog tags are what you get after beating a chapter. So, you get different ones, and you also get different emb uh, emblems. are basically the achievements and trophies you get. Uh, so, so if you're on the Switch version, it, you'll just you'll uh, still at least get those. And then the title is just um, these. And uh, these are the default titles. I think Curious Fan is normally when you get uh, when you finish Resident Evil Five. I think it detects if you got a Resident Evil Five save, and it's finished. I think, and then that's when you get that. Uh, so I'm gonna keep it like that. So yeah. And then campaign is pretty much, uh, well, the story mode. And there are... Wait, whoa, we've got an achievement? Check out my dogs! <laughs> wow, we customised a dog tag already, wow. Wow, I, 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 I'm relieved I've got that achievement right early, wow. You normally get that later, but... But yeah, the campaigns we have are Leon, Chris, Jake, and Ada. And the prelude is just the tutorial, so... Yeah, it, uh, so you can play that again if you want, but why would you want to? But when you press new game, it's not there. It's just the campaigns. And for Ada, originally you have you had to unlock her by beating all three other campaigns. But in 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 a recent update for the uh, original versions as well as the remastered versions, you get her from the start. You don't have to unlock her, but originally you do. So join game is just multiplayer. Skills are very important. We can now purchase new skills. So, pretty much the equivalent of um, of the bonus features in Resident Evil 5, only in this, you get it by skills. Uh, so, it doesn't mean, like, how skilled you are at the game. It means um, uh, it means the points you get. So, uh, they just call them skill points for some reason. And, uh, and some, some things you can purchase with these are... Obviously, ammo increases. Lone wolf, so meaning no one will, no one will help you. And then uh, item increase, I recommend that. Uh, and then all of that. But after finishing all campaigns, you'll also get infinite ammo mode and um, infinite ammo for different weapons. Uh, and yeah, uh, some of these are ridiculously hard to unlock, though. Well, easy, but take ages to unlock, like using guns a certain amount of times and killing enemies with a certain, with a certain amount of times, but yeah. And then um, I think that's uh, pretty much it. And then the credits is just obviously turn off the credits. And yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much um, um, what Resident Evil 6 is like uh, then. So I'd say when we, um, because this, how this video series is going to go on is like, we're going to uh, do each campaign. Uh, so each campaign will be obviously separate videos, but every chapter is pretty much nearly an hour long. So uh, uh, that is why this game is very long. Like, if, you've, if you're just thinking of just doing one campaign and then, oh, uh, just uh, fuck all the rest, then uh, pretty much fine. Uh, then it's your shortest one. But but if you're thinking of doing everything, it's going to take you, like, nearly days to finish. So, it, it, it also depends on your sleep schedule. It may be two days, maybe one. It, it varies on what you're doing as well, so. But, uh, in reality, but if you, if you stay awake 24 hours and you're, doing this then probably one day it depends how skilled you are at the game how good you are and such but yeah it does take that long to do everything in this that's why this is the longest Resident Evil game ever it's longer than Resident Evil 5 and and it's even longer 
then I think Resident Evil 7 and Village. I don't know how long Village is, but because I've not played that. I've only played uh, 7 Biohazard for the first person ones, but, but out of all of them, 6 is the longest so far. Just because of those achievements. And that's not even talking about the, 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 the difficulties, because when we select a campaign, obviously when you're in the chapter select, you can just select a chapter as well. You can see there's five chapters, and you can select different parts of the chapter. Not to mention, you have difficulties as well. You've got amateur mode, normal mode, veteran mode, professional mode, and with a recent update for old versions and default in the uh, remastered versions, no hope mode. What No Hope is, this is basically the same as Professional Mode almost, except it is a lot harder, obviously, and there are a couple of more restrictions, such as, uh, such as, infinite ammo not allowed. Yep. So even if you've unlocked it, you're not allowed them in No Hope Mode. You are allowed them in other difficulties, though. And all that. But everything else, no. So there's also uh, it's because infinite ammo goes under your skills. So meaning you can't have infinite ammo all guns. You can only have infinite ammo on some guns for your character. So yeah. If you're wondering what the other characters look like, um, let's go to Chris's and then yeah, Chris is all weird, and we have this character named Piers. Um, which is his partner. And then... And then in Jake, we have... They're in a snowy, and then we have this girl named Sherry, who was from Resident Evil 2, now as an adult here. And now, finally, we have Ada. And what is Ada like? Well, Ada's is interesting because... It's just herself. Yeah. Even though we have this guy here in this menu, which I always thought was Hunk, but apparently it isn't. It's someone. It's a, it's someone called Agent. Yeah, I have no idea why he's called that, but okay. But yes, um, been all that. Um, so yeah. Uh, I don't. I have no clue what friendly fire is, but okay. But you can play as Agent when you do multiplayer for Ada. Yeah, apparently Ada's campaign has multiplayer, along with the others, of course. But but when you do multiplayer with Ada, you can have you can have the other player play as Agent, and that's the only time you can play as him in that campaign. Uh, otherwise, it's just Ada by herself. So, but that's pretty much it to show off with Resident Evil Six then. So. Uh, so next time on Resident Evil 6, we will go through... Uh, I'm going to do it in this order. So I'm going to do Leon's campaign first, then Chris's campaign, then Jake's campaign, and then lastly Ada's campaign. And I'll also get a, a couple of bonus achievements that you can get during those campaigns, and it evolves those campaigns. So Because some achievements require using certain characters that are only in those campaigns and all that. Because they have they have exclusive guns and weapons, so yeah. So I have to say that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. So next time we'll go on with Leo, Leon's campaign, Leon and Lena's campaign. So I just see you guys next time for Resident Evil Six. So Jay Pabal, see you guys next time. Jay Pabal, see you guys next time. Bye.